at the crest of the Angeles. Long ride to get out here, but I think it's worth it. Man, it's hot today. You need to close your stick to you, you get all jacked up. It's one of those. Stay in your lane, man. So it's Minner. Came out to Angeles Crest to put the S1000R through its paces. San Diego has some good roads, but I haven't found one that's as long or as well paved and as little populated as this one. We're going to talk a little bit about suits. Planning on scheduling a, a date for the California Superbike School. Level one. So I need some leathers. I've been poking around. Looking at different options. I'm a little tall. Lanky side. I know I'm going to have problems with fit before I even get started on this. While we were buying Livy some more protective pants, keep those knees and hips safe because they're oh so precious. I uh, saw a sale and a Dionese was going to take a suit. I think a regular is like twelve to thirteen hundred. I don't know the exact prices, but it was down to seven ninety nine, so it seemed to be a good deal. I tried it on, size 44, so I'm 6'2", 200 pounds, so the 44 they had was, it was castrating me, it split the twins, maybe I shouldn't call my balls twins, but how about the girls, it split my girls, is that better? And uh, it was, I would have been infertile in a matter of one day. It was just, it was too much. I, I understand you have to be hunched over, but this was, this was really serious. I had to get out of that suit quickly before I suffered some, some serious consequence. So that's all they had there. I lost that deal, but then of course you're in the mode. You know how it is. You find a good deal. You weren't planning on it yet. And then you get in the mode. So I jumped over to the Alpine Stars for the same price, $7.99. It was on a, a lighter sale. And uh, tried the 46 in that one. My ball survived this trial. Still hunched over in a suit, but you know, that's the way it's gotta be. You're meant to be hunched over. Uh, downside was, after trying on the Dionese and, and having the, the limbs at least, form fitted and, and just the the construction, like for example, on the Alpine Stars, they're trying the uh, mostly white with black accent version. There was like this, this discoloration of the leather at the neck uh, where it met the roll, and, and that just kind of turned me off. And then it was it was just baggy around the waist. Bikes up to a 46, it was baggy around the waist, so it just felt I like I was wearing a, a bit of a garbage bag. I think it would have worked, but I think you guys can all agree that when you're spending that much money feel pressure to get something that's close to ideal, if not completely ideal. So, I ditched that, and basically the other suits just wasn't quite spot on. So, I went to the two-piece. I had heard that two-piece suits can be more roomy for someone who's taller. And uh, I tried a Dionese jacket and pants on. The jacket was the 
that uh, was a racing D1 perforated leather and it felt great size 44 little on the shorter side because my height but the chest felt good and they don't have a non perf they don't have a perf in the tall version I don't think it doesn't have to fit me off the bike so well I'd be rather embarrassed to have aluminum shoulder sliders on going to the market you know what I mean so the jacket felt great very form-fitting and just feel like you're wearing a suit of armor then I tried on the Dainese leather race pants. I think they're the D2. The names are so confusing. I'll put it on the screen. And basically, they had a couple of versions uh, for between four and five hundred bucks. Um, I wanted the ones with the knee sliders on it in case I got to that point in the track. I'd have that to utilize instead of going out later and getting something different. Oh, this is one. So matched up, it was much more roomy. The twins, the girls, whatever you want to call them. Much safer, much more comfortable. I could actually stand up and look less ridiculous and feel less ridiculous. But to be honest, I like working with the store in the area. Because these things, they feel like they fit in the store. And you get on the bike and you or at least wear it at home for a little bit and you start to realize what's wrong. Which is what happened with the pants. So, for anybody who hasn't bought a pair of leather pants yet, or even a race suit... Ooh. Take this in mind. If you're taller and you bend your knee or flex down, have flexion at the waist like you do in the position when you're riding. You utilize more material. Everyone utilizes more material when they bend their arms or legs. But the taller you are, the more material you're going to suck up. So if it seems like it fits in a mild squat like it did to me, and when you're standing up, it may not fit so well when you're on your bike in that tuck position, or for me with the naked, the semi-tuck. And when I got home, I realized that the circumference at the waist and the thighs, it can feel great, but you know, uh, when you actually go to sit down, you have to be able to move your knees to some degree, and I know these things break in. And I've seen other people post, especially on multiple different forums, that leather pants don't seem to fit at first, and then you give it a few days and it starts to break in. This is ridiculous. Uh, it fit, like I said, in the dressing room, but when you get on the bike, you just could not spread the legs. You couldn't get your knee out to shift your weight as fluidly. My legs were working as one unit. It was as if my, my knees were tied together with a fixed distance. You know, as if I had a string that was a foot and a half connecting my two knees. And if one went beyond a foot and a half, the other one would just have to follow. So it was that. Also, I had a hard time bending the knee. Even riding the bike, it felt, frankly, dangerous. So even though the thigh circumference and the length seemed okay, and the waist was pretty spot on, I had to take them back. And I know uh, there is a break-in process, but there is a point. You can set that up to a certain point. So I think when you, put, when you put the pants on, look in the mirror, look for some folds under your ass. Because you're going to utilize that material. And anybody who has more experience than me, please feel free to correct me. But this is what I'm figuring out. Also, there should be some material bunched up above the knee. Now, I know there's stretch panels in these things. It only takes you so far. So there should be some material bunched up above the knee that you're going to utilize when you flex that leg. And you're going to max it out. So those are the lessons I learned. Two pieces are better. The pants, be careful. Don't get anything huge, but look for a little extra material. 
if you're in the five, 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 seven to six foot range, the regular sizing is going to be pretty ideal. Other than that, when you start getting over six feet, uh, you might want to consider tall sizing. You guys are gonna make some compromises. You should feel good though. That's the bottom line. You wanna be thinking about your friggin' suit. When I'm out there having some fun, or even when I'm out here, you don't wanna think about what's going on. You just want the damn thing to work. Oh, I'm with the suit, you get a free day at the track. It's like their version of the free toaster. I hope it's not budget. Like all free gifts. I hope it's not like a shitty track with like covered in gravel. Lawlessness, no one paying attention to you. People are shooting each other. You guys want to take the Alfa Romeo out for a spin. Gentlemen, it is not 1960. Can't believe the red in the ass of that bike, man. It's a little embarrassing. Dionysus suit, the two-piece, much better. I can actually stand upright. So you got the perforated leather. I don't know if you can see it the camera, in the arms and in the chest, which is why I didn't get the long size, because in the long size, they don't have the perf. And they have the S1 stretch fabric here, which does breathe to some degree. And you have the large forearm and elbow sliders here, and the molded shoulder with the aluminum cover. Not that the aluminum does anything, I don't think. And we have the Vantus back protector. The Dianese plugged in here in the back. So maybe it's there. So the jacket's fine. I rode in it. It's comfortable. It works. It's breaking in. This is going to be just fine on the track. It's nice and loose now. More a couple different times. The pants are where it's at. So the connection is here. You can see the zipper connection. It's not 360. It says 360, but it does expose the front, just in this area here. You can see. But I think it do its job. So the pants, it looks like they fit. As you can see, the, the knee portion here does have some fabric bunch, and it has a stretch panel here as well. And I do max out the stretch panel, even with a knee bend like this. It's almost maxed out. If you raise the leg more, it gets even tighter. So you'd think this is enough room, but when you get on the bike, it's the problem. And just the seat. Has some uh, hip pads here as well that are sewn into the actual fabric. A lot of protection here in the hips and the knees. But there is some extra fabric here, you think it would be enough, but when you actually get on the leg, it's, it maxes out. So I think it's more of a height thing, you need to see more extra room to tell you are. Here's the squatting position. Right about now, this is a little painful here, but this is as much as I can spare my legs. Maxed. This is it. So if I go this way, this leg pulls. This way, this leg pulls. Like I said, with a string connecting the two. So, not comfortable. There's in the bike, because they get on. It's, it's putting a lot of pressure, like right on the knee here, which makes it uncomfortable. That could break in over time. But this panel is completely maxed out. I'm not even bent over yet. And this is a naked bike, so I'm less bent than I would be otherwise. Well, other leg up there, and if you get a shot from behind, you can see how maxed the fabric is in the back, which is what it should be, I guess. But there's nothing extra back there. And I'm fighting the fabric the whole time. And I start to go left, like this. The other knee starts coming with it. So I can't quite get the knee out to a comfortable level without constantly fighting the crotch. That's my concern. So I don't want my legs to be too tight on this.